Tanjiro Kamado, the sun-breathing demon slayer swordsman. Jonathan Joestar, the very first Jojo who ever joged. These two anime monster hunters are as deadly with a blade as they are infinitely good-natured. But don't cross them, else they might leave you breathless. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Aside! I've sworn to slay all of Dio's demonic minions. I don't know who you are, but you better leave her alone! You poor wretch, shackled by the chains of this harpy's insidious mind control. On my honor, as a gentleman, I will free you! Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. Did you bump your head? <laughs> Concentration! Water breathing! Most unorthodox! You fight with valor, noble swordsman, but I know the burning passion of my heart will carry me through! Oh, he's kind of adorable! <laughs> like a puppy! I wonder if he has a caretaker nearby. You're mine! Footwork. I know how to stop him. He's focusing on my neck. Does he know? Metal Silver Overdrive! As a gentleman, I will protect her with my life. Please don't touch me. On paper, Tanjiro did initially seem to have more advantages in this bout. Uh, for sure. He'd been training for way longer than Jonathan, and with way more experienced teachers. Tanjiro's Demon Slayer journey took place over a couple of years, while Jonathan's Ripple training was less than a month. Tanjiro was obviously a superior swordsman with a variety of powerful techniques and katana magic, while Jonathan really only improvised as a swordsman. But that's where the advantages stop. Sure, Jonathan wasn't a natural swordsman, but he more than made up for it in hand-to-hand -hand combat, while Tanjiro was pretty much out of options without a blade. Jonathan also had an edge in strength. Comparing Tanjiro to Doma and Jojo to Tarkus, Jonathan was over twice as strong. And while Tanjiro later fought the more powerful Muzan, Jonathan did the same with Dio. He was way faster too. 
While Tanjiro and his pals could dodge lightning, we can compare Jonathan to other Ripple users like Joseph who could dodge light, which is over 3,000 times faster. That might seem crazy, but in part 3, Dio was able to keep up with stands like Star Platinum, which can move faster than light. Dio did this on his own, and that was while using Jonathan's body. Even with multiple ways to predict Jonathan's movements and see the flow of his Ripple with X-ray vision, Tanjiro would not have been fast enough to keep up. Especially with the Ripple backing him up. Sure, the water and fire Tanjiro generates is impressive, but Jonathan was tough enough to power through it. Tanjiro, though, had no way to defend against the Ripple bypassing his durability and directly messing with his organs. Such as manipulating his muscles like a puppeteer, or directly shutting off his brain or heart something other Ripple users have done to ordinary humans with a single zap. And Jonathan had the opportunity to do this literally every time Tanjiro blocked his blade. Sure, Tanjiro could recover himself with a breath, but that'd be a breath spent healing and not, you know, fighting. And while sun breathing's overuse was dangerous to Tanjiro, Jojo's Haman had no such drawback. Which meant that Jojo could keep fighting for as long as he needed to. Tanjiro was never gonna go down easy, but Jonathan's speed, Haman, and righteous gentlemanly fists carried him to victory. Jonathan took Tanjiro's breath away. The winner is Jonathan Joestar.